Hey guys and welcome back to my new video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own hat and it's super easy. So I'm using Renderworks Texture Changer script so I'm going to put it in the description down below. And let's go step by step together. So let me open up here the texture change tutorial kind of thing. So we're going to follow step by step and it's super easy. So as we can see here place the Renderworks Texture Changer hat into the bottom of your hat. And the hat is going to be this square and we need to change your button and it's this one you can right click edit and go on content and drag and drop just like this so step number two place on the works texture change in the receiver what is your product no matter what product you made if it's clothing phones eyes whatsoever you put it in your product and I'm going to add it in one eye. So let's add it in. Open up the folder. And this is this receiver. And then we're going to drag and drop. Just like this. Okay. So let's see what we have to do next. Open both scripts and change a channel number uh, to a random one. So we open it up. We look for the channel number. And here you can see channel number. So I'm just going to change this one to a 2 and save make sure it's green let's wait a second okay close it and now the other one we click on here okay here it appears open it up and here we added two be sure it's the same numbers on both sides and save so now we need this weedy and if you imported your texture you're gonna have it it's basically the picture so here I'm going to go to my eyes and when I purchase the eyes I already got some different pictures and uh, let me choose like brown and here it says weedy click on it and then we close it up and then we go here again right click edit open it up and we go down and we look for it where we can insert it and here you select and replace it by clicking paste save okay once we've done that we click on it and it show you the eye color so something i should have done what i did is to copy and then paste it up here because then the texture is going to be mixed but it's okay for now so i'm going to add the button up here okay let's wait a second for it to load in okay and the receiver is your product i have also a resizer script in there now i'm going to open it up and change the channel and let me see where it is okay here's the channel I'm gonna add a number two in the front here and save okay also up here open it up look it up it's here number two save okay and now we need a texture any texture if you upload it you're gonna find it in the texture section and I have a lot of items so I want to use this one copy IED and we add it here in the button script in the texture okay we go down and look for it and here you select and replace it by clicking paste save it should be green if everything is alright and just like that you click on it and just like this it's changed it's so freaking exciting i know okay let's make another texture so let's add here again the button and uh, double click find this i'm sure it's the exact same one save and i want to add a different texture so let's see which one i used before let's go with this one copy the oed and uh, then we go and look for the OED and it's here. Select it, paste it, save. If it's green, everything is alright. And now we click on it. And just like that, you can change your textures. You can make as many boxes as you want for your product. So let's take now pictures so I can show you how to complete your HUD. So now I'm gonna take a picture. I'm just gonna use the texture one part of it and not the whole the phone what I'm gonna show you okay 
Let's add the second one on. Zoom in, refresh. Save. Open the program of your choice. For me, it's going to be GIMP. If you know, you know. And you can use any size you want for the clickable HUD. So let's just make it like a little bit smaller. You can go with any design. You can go with a hard design. Whatsoever. Oops. Make sure it's not clicked on current layer only. You click on it. And now let's add our pictures. Okay. File. Open this layer. And if they are the same size, like open them up together. Okay. And link them both together. And let's make it smaller. I'll link it. So the first one. I just want to have this kind of texture. So they know what texture it is. So for the second one as well, I'm going to use this first one as kind of guide. And also be sure it's the bottom layer. Now I can put one here on one side. The other one on this side. Like... But if you have more texture, you make more of those, if you know what I mean. Now we're going to crop it again. Let's put them both together. Merge down. And we can make it like this. Well, you can make any design. Like, you can get inspired by watching other, like, creators' hats. But I'm going to make it simple. Just like this. Just like this. Just for example, okay? Nothing professional. Just like to show you a bit. Of course, uh, yeah. Just basics. So we're gonna upload this now. And let's add it in. Upload. So now we make a new square. And uh, make it smaller. Stretch. Now we're gonna go on texture. Click blank. And now let's uh, click here. Okay. Select face and go to number four. You can see here the numbers for this one, two, three, and four. The four should be the front. And here we add the texture we just made. Well, apparently it's other side, but let's see where it is. Oh, it's here. Okay. This is face number four. Be sure it's even. Now you can stretch it better, whatever. I stretch it the wrong way like this make it bigger however you prefer you can do it like this and then you can also make the other parts transparent by but you don't have to let's keep it like this so again let me check which one is which okay this one is this one so we're gonna move them in the front select both move them in the front and now we make them like fit so let's click move and then just select one of them at the time stretch we can make it thinner then move it to place like this one in the back like this the other one as well make it thinner move it to the side it does not look perfect but I'm gonna fix it. Let me see if it's an equal like size and everything. Something like this. Are two different separate pieces as you can see here. Now what we're gonna do is make it sure it's exactly on each side. Okay, this one can be put more here. And this one over here. We click here on texture, click on it, transparent okay click here click on transparent okay transparent and when you click on it it will still work as you can see here because it's transparent and you can link it all together now right click edit click on here and click on the back part and link them together now we're gonna take it and we're gonna go right click, attach to head, center two, and of course you can make it bigger, stretch, and like I said, you can make your head any shape or form. So now we can click on it and change the textures, as you can see here. 
how they did it like you can do like circle you can do any freaking shape or form it works the same you make like a circle and then you add like in your editing software you can make any shape or form you can make a circle using this tool like this add a color in it and select none and export it like this it does not have to be a square shape you can go with any freaking shape like there is hats any shape or form of course when people make like this hats for fair packs it's a lot of work you have to put all the separate things in it but this is how it works this is the basic and that how you can make any product with a hat and it's super simple and easy to use so you're gonna detach this of course you can rename it like phone and then you add one phone and this hat together in a folder and sell it like this so basically super easy to use so anyways guys that's it for this video so with this method you can make any product on second life from clothing to accessories and everything else that requires a hat you can make it that way it's super easy and if you have any questions or requests let me know in the comments down below so as always feel free to leave a like and subscribe and that's the next video bye <laughs>